Hello and welcome back to Shakespeare. We are working on A Winter's Tale and we get to hear from Leontes today in Act 5, Scene 1. So Leontes has spent the last 16 years mourning the death of his wife and son, which he has come to terms with the fact that it was basically his fault that they died. And that, you know, he's not necessarily all that far off. And at the beginning of this scene, Cleomenes and Dion were trying to let him know that he has spent enough time mourning and repenting and, and all of that sort of thing. But Pear to, or not Pear to Top, <laughs> Paulina doesn't, doesn't think he's done repenting yet. Um, but Cleomenes and Dion are like, but if he doesn't remarry and produce an heir, then what happens to the kingdom? And Paulina is like, yes, but the oracle says that he's not supposed to have an heir until his lost child is found, which unless we're talking zombies, nobody wants that to happen. So he can pick an heir another way. He can just like name his top soldier or whatever, and that person can inherit the throne once he dies. Um, and after some back and forth, she convinces Leontes that, or gets, gets Leontes to agree that the only way that he will marry is if it's somebody that she has chosen and therefore approves of. But then a messenger comes in to let them know that Florizel and this woman have arrived um, in the country. And um, they're like, you know, that's a little bit weird that, that uh, Polixenes would have sent his son and like not given us a heads up or anything like that like but but yeah sure we'll see him so the like lord goes off to get them and bring them into the space and Paulina's like oh you know if only your son Mamilius was here to greet him because they were approximately the same age and wouldn't that have been nice for the two of them to get to see each other uh, Mamilius and Florizel and Leonti says prithee no more cease thou knowst he dies to me again when talked of Sure, when I see this gentleman, thy speeches will bring me to consider that which may unfurnish me of reason. Your mother was most true to wedlock, prince, for she did print your royal father off, conceiving you. Were I but twenty-one, your father's image is so hit in you, his very heir, that I should call you brother, as I did him, and speak of something wildly by us performed before, most dearly welcome. And your fair princess, goddess. Oh, alas, I lost a couple that twixt heaven and earth might thus have stood, begetting wonder as you, gracious couple, do. And then I lost all my known folly, the society, amnity, too, of your brave father, whom, though bearing misery, I desire my life once more to look on him. So he starts out by saying, please stop talking about my son because every time you bring him up, he dies again and it brings all of the stuff back to me. And it's, it's entirely possible that seeing Florizel, the son of my dearest friend, is going to be a little bit emotionally overwhelming for me as well. So let's start from a clean spot. But then Florizel and Perdita and the messengers, all that sort of thing, they, they come back in and he notices that Florizel looks exactly like Polixenes, like to the point where if Leontes was younger, he was like, yeah, we'd be, we'd be the ones out having beers and I'd start talking to you about things that we had done before the way that I used to with your dad. And then he looks at, at Perdita and he's sort of overwhelmed by it and he calls her a goddess and instantly starts thinking of Hermione and Mamilius and the baby that he that he sent out and lost and he admits that it was all his own fault that they died and that he fell out of favor with Polixenes but says you know he would like to see Polixenes one more time before he dies and Florizel is like well we're here as ambassadors from him and he he sent us to say hello to you and let you know that he loves you and all of that sort of thing. And there's there's a little bit of back and forth here and Leontes remarks again at how beautiful Perdita is and Florizel is like, yes, she is my intended, she's a, a princess in Libya. And so she also shows off what amazing success I had in Libya. And uh, Leontes is like, well, you're you're absolutely welcome to be here. And then another messenger or Lord comes in and he's like, um, 
My, my lord, um, Polixenes is here. He's outside and he wants you to arrest his son, Florizel, because that woman is the daughter of a shepherd. She's not actually a princess. And Leontes is like, what? And Florizel's like, oh, it had to have been Camillo. Camillo gave me away. If only I could. And they're like, yeah, Camillo is with him too. So you can hammer that out when you get here. And um, Perdita is all upset that everything's undone. And Florizel is upset with, with Camillo for having given them up. And Leontes is like, well, you know, like I want to be able to help you, but I also want to get back into your father's good graces. So um, let's just, let me go talk to him and see what I can do. Florizel is like, if you can plead, if you can plead our case to him, that would be amazing. Leontes is like, let me, let me see what I can do. He's like, if I actually, if I was going to ask for something, I'd ask for her. And Polina's like, no, she's too young for you, which thank goodness, because that's actually really um, but he's like, I'll see what I can do. I'll go talk to, I'll go talk to, to Polixenes and see if I'm able to smooth some of this stuff over. And that's the end of Act 5, Scene 1. So now we have everybody back in Cecilia the same way that we started off the play with all the characters that we knew in Cecilia. But we've got like a wedding that they want to have happen that can't happen, that still can't happen because Polixenes doesn't want it to and Polixenes wants Florizel arrested and Leontes just wants to play peace bringer in this and Polina is squashing any sort of romantic notions that Leontes might have about marrying a 16 year old, which is probably, probably wise on her part for reasons that she may not even realize at the moment. But anyway, still a bunch of stuff to sort out. We've got about a week, no, we've got four or five days left of this play. So there's, there's some stuff we got to figure out, but we'll figure it out pretty quick. And I'll see you tomorrow for more. Mwah.